Hello everyone, welcome back to my chem corner. So in today's video, we are going to solve question number 2.2, uh, third part of the question that says, find the total number and total mass of protons in 34 milligrams of ammonia at STP. Will the answer change if temperature and pressure are changed? So here, it's the same question as the previous video that we did. In this case, they are asking protons. Last time they asked about neutrons. In this case, it is a gas. That's the reason why STP is put out. Now, when you change temperature and pressure, is the, is the answer going to change? That's what we're going to find out. All right. So here we have to find out the total number of protons in 34 milligrams of ammonia. For that, first thing, protons meaning it's basically knowing the number of electrons, basically nothing but the, num the atomic number itself. So the first step is going to be that one mole of ammonia is equal to what is the atomic um, mass of atomic mass of uh, nitrogen atomic mass of nitrogen is 40 how many atoms of nitrogen just one plus mass of hydrogen is 1 into 3 because number of atoms is 3 now this is equal to 17 grams of ammonia all right so this is basically conversion of one mole into uh, grams now when you this is this is what we have calculated using the atomic mass okay so that means 17 grams of ammonia will contain avogadro number of molecules of ammonia okay now since they have asked protons, we are going to take the number of uh, electrons or which is nothing but the atomic number. So for that, this is going to be total number of protons present in one molecule of ammonia. So how much is that? Number of protons is nothing but the atomic number itself. Atomic number of nitrogen is 7 into how many atoms of nitrogen? Only 1. Plus atomic number of hydrogen is 1 into 3 which is the number of atoms. So this will make it up to 10. So therefore 10 protons are there in one molecule of ammonia. Okay. Therefore number of protons in 6.022 10 to the power 23 molecules of ammonia is equal to Avogadro number into 10. When I calculate this, I will get 6.022 10 to the power 24 protons will be there. Okay, so this is going to be in 17 grams of ammonia. But is that our question? No. We are asked for 34 milligrams. So now, therefore, we can write that number of protons in 34 milligrams of ammonia equals 6.022 into 10 to the power 24 into 34 milligrams divided by since this is in milligram you also have to convert uh, 17 milligrams here 17 grams into milligram so that is going to be 1000 17000 milligram it's going to be and this will give you answer is 1.2046 into 10 to the power 22 protons. I am just writing here because I don't have space there. Alright. So that is going to be the number of protons present in this one. Alright. Now, next one is you need to calculate total mass of the proton. Alright. Now the second one is mass of one proton is given to us. Right. So the mass of one proton is 1.67493 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram. 
therefore total mass of protons in 34 milligrams of ammonia is equal to 1.67493 into 10 to the power minus 27 which is the mass of one proton into 1.24426 10 to the power uh, 22 which is nothing but the number of protons present in this many milligrams is equal to 2.0176 10 to the power minus 5 kg that is after you simplify it so this is the mass of one proton when you take 34 mass of protons present in 34 milligrams all right now the question says that whether temperature and pressure is going to change so here we can say that the number of protons, electrons and neutrons in an atom are always independent, right? So if I heat uh, temperature or if I reduce temperature, the number of protons, number of neutrons and number of electrons are not going to change at all. Hence, they will remain unchanged with change in temperature or pressure. Okay, so the, basically the answer is no, there won't be any change. Alright, 